Hey loves, Jay here from Omnipresent Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for Cancer for your mid-February reading. I'm going to hop into your tarot reading as well as your spiritual messages. I'm hearing that you are going to be hitting the bullseye, hitting the target on something. I'm also feeling a very wishy-washy energy that's coming from some of you, which makes me feel that you have to make a decision about something and you may be indecisive about it or feeling confused about something right now. Whatever that is, I think whatever this target energy is, what spirit is trying to convey to me, whatever decision that you make is the, is the right, is going to be the right decision for you, which is why spirit is saying you're hitting the target. So you're hitting the mark on something. I'm also seeing a presence around some of you. So you have been worried. There's there's beautiful energy that's surrounding you. And I feel like this energy is has entered into your life at this moment because you're feeling a sense of um, depression for some of you. You're feeling stressed. You're feeling overwhelmed. And so there is someone that is very present and watching over you. So if you're feeling a presence around you, know that it is one of your loved ones that is trying to connect with you and trying to console you during this time, okay? Let's hop into your current energy, your advice, and your final outcome for the month. Your current energy right now is the moon, your energy here, Cancer. So I'll, I'm going to pull these cards and then we're going to clarify each of them. Your advice for the month is the five of earth, five of earth energy here showing up. And then we have as your final outcome, your final outcome is the eight of air energy. So we're going to get, get into this, clarify each of these here. The moon card being um, the major arcana, which is the energy that you're in, definitely is letting me know that you are, I'm hearing confused. If some of you are confused or you're in fear or there's something that has been revealed for you um, that is causing fear, causing a, a bit of angst or anxiety that could be coming up for you. There could be a lot that is going on in your life for you. All right. So with this current energy here with the moon, okay, the number 18, it's, it breaks down to a number nine. It's the end of it's end of something. The end of something. This could be end of the emotions, the end of fear, the end of a relationship, end of a job. Whatever this is, it is in divine order for you, and also in divine timing. So, whatever decision that you are making, know that it is the right time for you to make this decision. Okay, that is going to be the right timing if you haven't made this decision as of yet. Whatever this is, I do feel like. There is, like I said, this card is connected to psychic insights. This is the reason why I feel a very strong presence around some of you right now. Being watched over by your guides and angels, your loved ones. Um, someone is trying to deliver a message to you. So this is a time for you to get tapped in and tuned in and tuned into your emotions because you are feeling a sense of overwhelm. This is not going to resonate with everyone. So take the parts that do resonate. Leave the rest for someone else. And this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or if you have Cancer anywhere in your chart. So if you have been feeling this presence, it is definitely for you. You're not, your mind's not playing tricks on you. You're not going crazy. This is someone or this is a, an entity or a spirit trying to get your attention about something because there has been a lot of emotions and energy put into something. For some of you, I'm feeling very strongly this is a relationship that you've been investing a lot of time and energy into and this moon I'm I'm getting this tired energy like it's too much it's it's overwhelming okay so that's coming up for some of you not everyone some of you could be having vivid dreams and fears like like I said it could be coming up wild dreams okay those vivid dreams could be all over the place you could be in the place of just um Feeling, like I said earlier, that anxiousness is coming up for some of you. Shaky hands, heart palpitations, sweaty palms, um, a lot going on in your head. Um, there's, I'm also twitching of the eyes. Like, it feels like some of abnormal things that are happening that you may be paying attention to right now because it's spirit's way of trying to get your attention. So there may be some physical things that could be occurring right now in your body. Um, but there are things that are happening behind the scenes that are for your um, 
divine alignment, okay? But this is time for you to release the fears that are holding you back, that anxiety, whatever's coming up for you. Let's pull some cards around this for you here, Cancer. Why is the moon here? Sit by myself, talking to the so some of you need to sit and talk to the moon and really connect with your emotions here. We have the nine of wands. Yeah, look at that energy exhausted. You guys, I feel like you're constantly in this phase of um, I'm hearing proving yourself. You're trying to prove yourself. It's always something. It's always a battle. But I, I feel like you, I feel like you you get over this. It's easy for you to get over this because you've been so used to it. The spirit is asking you, is telling me that this is a pattern that you no longer need to involve yourself in whatever this is here for you. Okay, Let's see what else is coming up for you with this nine of wands energy because it feels like a lot that you guys keep going through a lot feels heavy and you keep coming out resilient on the other side, but you also are just emotionally tired. And I feel like that's somewhere some of you are just in this moment or this is maybe you're in a good place right now, but this is also a pattern like at some point this energy comes up for you again. We have the tower. Some of you are moving out of a home. You're separating, you know, breaking up with someone. You're leaving a job. This feels pretty intense for you right now, Cancer, um, the emotions that I'm feeling for you. It feels like a whirlwind of, that it feels like you've been sucked into a, a vortex, sort of like a tornado and you can't get out. You just keep spinning and spinning. And this is what it's feeling like right now. Like I do feel that whatever decision that you make about this to let go, let go of the fears, let go of whatever this is, let go of a home, a relationship, let go of a job. It is, um, the right decision for you. So if you've been looking for the clarification, it is time for you to let it go and rebuild is what I'm hearing because you already have, you already have the strength and the courage with this nine of wands. You are already, you know, prone to adversity and you're going to be able to pick yourself up again and move on from whatever you are leaving behind. So that's the current energy that I'm feeling for you here. All right, so let's get some advice for you, Cancer. We have the five of earth here. Some of you are fearing or your fears are stemmed from um, around money or loss in some sort of way. This is, this is an energy of feeling like you're being left out in the cold. I feel like you give and, you give, and give to others and it isn't reciprocated and... I feel like there are times that you just don't know which direction to move in. Okay, so let's see if we can give you some clarity. That five of earth coming up for you. My head is, um, it's not even my head. I just feel like the room wants to spin. It almost feels like an energy of vertigo. Some of you could be having some health issues that could arise as well. This is a time to care for yourself. The princess of pentacles. So this lets me know it has been a long journey for you um, in making something happen and, you know, taking care of yourself, bringing something to fruition, finally seeing the fruits of your labor in some sort of way or seeing, um, for some of you, I'm feeling this energy of self-love, like you've been pouring into yourself, you've been, you've come into this place where you're trying to pour in more into yourself and that's exactly what I'm feeling here from this uh this princess of pentacles, I think I said page, um, but it is, it is still the same things with this princess of pentacles. That's what I'm feeling of you're doing things for yourself, possibly behind the scenes, but there's a lot of responsibility that's on your plate and you're supporting a lot of people, but you're still trying to <laughs> weave through some of the challenges is what I'm hearing. Weaving through the challenges, weaving through the challenges of your finances, of your love life, whatever this is, and still trying to find time for self to develop and find strength and ambition and really carve out time for your desires. So I do feel like there is a change that is coming up for you. Your advice is to keep working at it is what Spirit is saying. 
We also have the Five of Pentacles. Look at that double confirmation. We have the Five of Earth and the Five of Pentacles. <sighs> this is an energy of sadness and loss, like I said. <sighs> I'm going to pull another card. Because Spirit is telling me that whatever this energy is, is the inevitable. And it feels like it's something that you're going to have to go through in order to get to the other side. Which is why that Tower card was here. Definitely letting me know that this is a major thing that's going to play out where there is, some of you may already be in this tower moment where you're experiencing an upheaval. There's chaos going on in your life. There's, um, it could be violence for some of you. There's arguing, there's disputes, there's unhappiness. There feels like an energy of just discontent that is coming up for you. And this is why I feel like spirit is, spirit is telling me now, I am going to move you out of the way because I need to do this because you're not doing it for yourself. So I'm going to make this happen. This is the reason why that tower moment comes. Um, so for some of you, there may be, if you haven't experienced this already, there could be an energy of loss that could be coming up for you with the five of earth here, double time. But this is giving you an opportunity to pour into yourself and also to take care of yourself physically as well. Seven of pentacles. So spirit is saying, keep working at I feel like this is taking care of yourself. Keep working at this project. Keep working at this uh, job and, you know, keep working at this, uh, you know, starting this business. Keep working at strengthening a bond with yourself or a bond with someone else. But make sure it's in a healthy way, okay? Make sure it's in a healthy way because there is there is some things that are coming up for you that it's going to feel uncomfortable for you here, Cancer due to the loss, you know, whatever this loss is, but it's all in divine order for you, okay? It is for your highest good, although it may feel like, it may feel challenging at the moment as you're experiencing it, but Spirit is saying you really need to let, let your resilience kick in now. Let you, you face adversity often, and this is going to be another test for you. That's what it feels like, a test of faith. For some of you, okay, a test of faith that could be coming up for you. Spirit is saying to really pull out your resilience hat because you're going to need it going through whatever this moment is of you letting go or, or releasing something that you've been holding on to. It is time is what I'm hearing. It is time, okay? So that is your advice is to keep pouring into yourself and to put on that resilience hat because you're going to need it during whatever moment that you are going to experience or you're currently in in this moment. But you're going to make it out on the other side. Bottom of the deck, we also have the two of pentacles. This is the inevitable change, like I've already said. So there are going to be things that you're going to have to prioritize. One thing to prioritize that's most important is yourself, obviously. Okay, so using time management to take care of yourself so that you can have a, a balance in life. Okay, this balance is going to be very important. Balancing it's going to be very important in doing this portion of or this this time in this phase here because there's a lot of ups and downs and decisions to, be, to make and a lot of um, prioritizing things but you need to prioritize yourself as you're as you're going through that tower moment it's caring caring for yourself is what I hear and it feels like it is repetitive it's a repetitive message but I can't convey this enough spirit keeps telling me you have to take care of yourself here, Cancer. Okay, so that's most important. Your final outcome here for the remainder of the month is the Eight of Air. This is energy of imprisonment, self-destruction for some of you as well. But this could also be illusion, a, a delusional energy, or you feeling like you're trapped, and some of you are trapped in your thoughts, in your, in your feelings about something. And you're in this place right now where you're lacking confidence. And this is where I feel like the chariot energy should come through. Uh, really building confidence within yourself. I'm hearing that you need to work on your solar plexus. Your solar plexus is right above your navel, three inches above your navel. Um, working on that area, it's connected to the color yellow. It is about creativity, confidence. It's about money, abundance, prosperity. There's a lot of things. And it is connected to different organs in the body. So I would definitely look up the solar plexus um, energy or a solar, pl solar plexus chakra online to see what you can do. Eat more yellow foods. You bring more yellow. Bring yellow flowers into your home. Like everything has to be done with intention for you. Okay? Intention. 
So some of you um, may be afraid to take action on something, but again, I feel like that resilience has to kick in for you. Let's see what's coming up for you. Why is the Eight of Air here? Eight of Pentacles flew out reversed. We have the Seven of Cups, so we have the Seven and the Eight. All right. So we have that Seven of Cups and that Eight of Pentacles that flew out for you here reverse. I'm feeling stuck. Some of you are even stuck in your throat. So maybe you even need to work on your throat chakra as well. I'm going to do a little clearing. Whew. Some of you are needing to let that go and really speak your truths right now. Um, there is going to be a period of you contemplating and feeling uncertain about what the future brings for you, okay? Um, but you're going to persevere. You're gonna, this is a time for you to really invest in yourself because you have been pouring into something. And, that, and, and right now, again, the focus is you self-development, okay? Um, some of you are in this energy of with this Eight of Pentacles reverse of trying to be perfect or trying to seem perfect to people and really just show show the world the real you. <laughs> you know, it's hard. It's hard trying to pretend. It's hard trying to be something you're really not. It's hard to put all of that energy into um, being more than what you really are here, Cancer. So Spirit is asking you to pour into yourself to really, some of you are really getting to a place of knowing yourself, but you may be in a relationship or you may be in a job where it may distract you from really figuring out who you are at your core because you're constantly, you're constantly feeling or being in someone else's energy because you are a water sign and you're very empathic and intuitive. You can easily pick up someone else's energy or mirror their energy. And so for you, sometimes cancer, you may be feeling lost in someone else's energy and you're not even aware of what you're feeling. So I feel like there is, there's too much going on, too much on your plate and you, you're going to feel a sense of sadness. I, again, I'm even feeling depression here with the aid of air and I, I don't even really care for using that word. But, I mean, it is what it is. It is a trapped victim mentality sort of energy. It's a self-victimization where you feel powerless. And you feel like you're surrounded by lots of obstacles. And, again, it's just you're feeling powerless because you're feeling head, held back. And everything feels like it's caging you in. Okay, so you're going to have a moment of that. But I know that you're going to make it past that, okay? I know you have to make it through that. I'm just going to pull one last card for you. The Nine of Fire. Look at that. <laughs> the Nine of Fire is coming out again. Remember, we pulled that in your overall energy here, your current energy. So this is coming out again. Double confirmation here that some of you may be stuck in this energy and you, you have to find a way here, Cancer, during the remainder of this month and moving on if you are in this pattern of energy, you have to find ways to get yourself out of this. Okay, No one else can do this for you. So whether that is if you're feeling depressed and you need to seek counseling, you need to talk to friends, I'm hearing some of you actually need to get out more and um, have a little fun because I feel like you're I'm feeling an isolated energy, not even solitude, whatever this is that you're going through in your mind, it's keeping you uh, separate. It's, it's keeping you distanced from other people because you're not even feeling like yourself. So I feel like, again, with this nine of fire, fire coming up for you for the second time, spirit is reminding you not to give up and protect that which you have created. So have courage and believe in yourself. Okay, so that's part of your advice. And it is your final outcome of knowing that you're going to make it past this moment. So don't keep give up. Again, put on that resilience hat and keep pushing through whatever moment you're experiencing. Okay, that is your reading, Cancer. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you guys for a March reading. Enjoy the rest of the month. Many blessings to you. Love and light. Peace.